Michelle from Waffle TV, and we're here today with the great Puppet Horn. How are you guys doing today? Really good, thanks. Yeah, I'm enjoying yeah, it. It's we're doing ever so well. It's nice. So where are you guys from? Uh, we're from London. Well, not originally, but we live in London yeah. now. Where are you from originally? Um, I grew up near sort of near Worcester. It's like out west, yeah. near Birmingham. That's an unusual place yeah. you came from. It's no, it's so. in London. We have cows there. It's good. <laughs> Just like this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like a bit like that one. Yeah. yeah. So tell us a bit about your show. Um, oh, our show is almost like watching, there's nothing else like it, uh, it's like watching almost a live episode of South Park done with shadow puppets. Wind farms go against natural law. Everybody knows that the traditional union of coal and gas is the most stable unit of bringing power to the world. Wind farms are fickle and always cut out when you need them most. And the rest of the time they just stand around making whirring noises and talking about Lady Gaga. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's sort of satirical, um, current affairs based humour, uh, sketch, comedy, but it's got a little bit of narrative. A bit of narrative. There's a bit of heart hidden away inside the show. There's something for everyone. There's yeah. a bit of a heart. It's mainly very funny. It's somewhat satirical. It's very Some silly. are calling us the new spitting image, but I didn't say those words. Don't take my word for it. <laughs> you did say it? Someone. Chortle. Chortle. Chortle said that. Chortle. The lovely people at Chortle. Yeah. Yeah. But no so, one can remember they know what they mean. Anymore, so. Do they? Yeah. yeah. They do. So what made you guys want to get into puppetry? Uh, ooh, uh, I originally studied fine arts. I was like, we're doing lots of art things, and we were doing quite a lot of performance stuff together, and then puppetry seemed a happy marriage of doing performance and making shit. We met at uni. Uh, Jeremy is a bit of a genius, uh, and he is a puppeteer, and I'm an animator. Which is also very clever. In my day job. Yeah, well, quite good. But, like, for this show, Jeremy's made some incredible things. I mean, they're quite intricate and amazing, the way they all move and stuff. Um, yeah, and we're just, uh, like, working together, really. Individually, I don't think, you know... You're, together we're strong. Together we? we are strong. I, mean, yeah. I think basically we wanted to make a show which was like, you know, like our favourite sort of TV animation or something, yeah? Yeah. Where it could be really fast paced, you know, and you can cut to like different locations, go wherever you want. There's no sort of You can have a cast of 60. You can do what you like. You can do what you like. You can go anywhere. You can be in space. You can be in Egypt, you know, in two seconds. It's great. And you don't um, have to pay the cast. You just have to repair them every day. You do. You have to glue them back together every day. Yeah. So they break. Yeah. Oh, we, get, we tend to chuck them around quite a lot. It's quite frantic. Hello. My name is Billy the Bible. Polar bear. It's very nice to meet you, but I'm a little bit sad now. Hmm, sad. Happy. Sad. Happy. Sad. Medic. So what did you guys study at uni? I did, I did art. I was in sculpture and performance and things. Yeah, I did English literature. I would say that's helped me as a writer, but pff, no, I think watching Family Guys helped me as a writer and uh, English literature uh, helped me drink. So is there heavy influences of sort of Family Guy, South Park uh, stuff? I don't, I don't like Family Guy. Or is it, no, is it, is it as offensive? It, well, as well, controversial? Depends. We've not had Some anyone walk out. We've had a couple of people. Oh, oh yeah, but they had kids. And they oh. shouldn't bring your kids. Shouldn't bring your children. It's a little bit naughty. Yeah. Um, we, had, we have offended a couple of people, definitely, in the past. But, yeah, you know, I mean, they're, they're, it's, it's quite issues based. And we have some opinions. And I suppose if you really disagree with our opinions, then you might be offended. But yeah. I, th I think we're quite lovely about the world. We're very we? loving to people. Yeah. I mean, we, we do laugh at them, but we yeah. are. And it's a loving way. Like, we, we always loved Gordon Brown, who's great. Cause we loved Gordon He was just Brown. so hopeless. And so he was wonderful to satirise because, you know, you could be you could make him this lovely, wonderful character who was just rubbish at doing everything. And it was sort of he was a yeah. sweet, sweet character, but at the same time, a complete idiot. So, yeah, you know. Weird, weirdly likeable, but completely useless. Yeah, completely useless. So. Well, we just we felt he was fit to lead a country, but he wasn't. Yeah. And, you know, that's that's a frustrating thing. So he, he, he was a cute character for us. He was yeah. like, oh, poor guy, he doesn't quite know what he's doing. Now it's David Cameron. I suppose we treat him with loving hands, but we're basically calling him... We don't him... really like him. No. 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 So what do you guys think you'd be doing if you weren't doing this? Oh, if I wasn't doing this this month, I'd be running around making puppets for other shows and doing that sort of thing. <laughs> I'd be on a beach holiday. He'd be on holiday, yeah. This is all my holiday time spent out of the fringe. I work like 14 hour days as an animator. It's like really hard work. Yeah. And this is all my holiday time spent out of the fringe. So I must believe in this show if I'm doing all my holiday time on it. There's no more rest. It's hard work doing this. Yeah. So why should people come and see your show? What makes it different from other puppetry shows? It's not. It makes it different from pretty much everything else in the fringe. It is it's not like unique, it's a comedy actually. show. Yeah. First and foremost, it's comedy. Uh, we do use puppets, but that's not really important. Like it's like a live animation. Yeah. So yeah. you should come and see it because you're probably quite bored of watching stand up by now. You've probably seen a couple of sketch troops and thought, ah, there are some troops. great sketch troops. And then you thought, you know, what I really want to do is just go see something which is really funny and a bit different. That's what the fringe is all about. Yeah. Something different, but it's actually good as well. Yeah. So where and when is your show on? We're on in the underbelly in the Cowgate, 
at 5.30 in the afternoon, and it's one hour long. Yeah. Yeah, it will fly Every day, by. Every so day quickly, throughout yeah. the fringe, we yeah. are here. Brilliant. Well, it's been great talking to you guys. Is, I'm is this okay? Michelle, you've been me? watching Waffle TV. I I'm Oscar winning actor Sean Connery Scotland is great but it's not for me It rains and it's too cold to water ski That's why I like to live in the Bahamas tax free Huh? Hmm? Hmm <laughs> Right that's Sean <laughs>